Well, hello. Howdy, howdy. Need to get that game capture going, huh? Hi, Balfour. Uh, hi, Denova. Hi, Mom. Good to see y'all. I'm not gonna be on camera today. I'm gonna be hiding. Game capture. Hi, Geek Droids. Good morning or good evening. <laughs> good time zone. Happy happy Saturday. Let's get that capture going here. Let's say goodbye to the dramatic music. <laughs> And say hello to the dramatic stream. Um, yeah, good to see you all. Um, happy Saturday. Um, I, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's like, well, I, I'm not going to bother with showering until after, um, um, you know, after I hike, because it, it would feel uh, kind of wasteful from a water standpoint. <laughs> and my hair, like, also, hi, Evo. Sometimes my, like, I have bangs, and they're kind of short, and I have really weird hair. Um, <laughs> so sometimes when I wake up uh, in the morning, my hair is a bird. Um, yeah. Anyway. How's everybody doing? What all is new? Dirty Jordan, best Jordan! Oh my god. <laughs> it is a fair point, yeah. Um. Anyway, I... <laughs> Heck. Sorry, I, I feel like it's a little like the air is dry in my apartment or something. I don't know. I need to get a humidifier, perhaps. I'm trying to figure out... Okay, this is fine. There we go. Okay. All right. Can't stay. Have fun. Okay. Love you, Mom. You also have fun. Have fun. Um, be, be excellent. Do something fun. Yeah. Um, anywho. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Mom. Uh, what was I going to say? Okay. Yes. So, let's get started with Mass Effect, shall we? I was getting my, um... Instagram story for the stream up and it's up so there we go hi nightbot <laughs> shout out to mom all right so the last time we played I think we did um I mean we did Eden Prime we got Javik and then we did Palavin I think oh geek droid's currently being a pirate somehow managed to sink four skelly ships it turns out if you disrupt their circling with a big rock they just bump into the rock. Nice! There's lots to do on the Citadel. Oh, there's Grissom Academy. Um, which we will definitely do. 100% we shall. Maybe we also go to the Citadel first? I'm trying to remember if we talked to everyone at the end of last stream, so maybe we'll just see what Hello. everyone's up to. Okay, maybe we did talk to everybody. It has been a minute since I've gotten to play Mass Effect. There's nothing in my private terminal. I don't think I have any fish yet. Although that feels like a famous last words thing. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. A war summit I feel like we've talked to everybody. Howdy, howdy. Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Now, remind me one more time. How do you want your username pr pronounced? Is it er what? Is it er what? I would love a reminder because I'm, I'm having trouble remembering at the moment and I would like to say it That's properly, all. you know? Of course, Commander like to address you by your correct internet terminology uh, this fine Saturday. Hi, Jimmy. Commander Shepard. Can't you just make random people salute to you? Yes, you totally can. If you If you walk in front of them and stop them, you can make them salute you. Will you do it again, though? I am the Commander Shepard. 
Oh, you're commander. You're what? Okay. Got you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't think we have anybody to talk to. I think we can probably just go. I am still gonna check though. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no fish. There's just a hamster having a rave. Squeak. I like how they expanded our ship collection uh, in the third game. Because it was, it used to just only be like this size of ship collection, but now, oh ho, it extends to the other side of the desk. Do we still have a Liara photo on our desk? <gasps> we used to, but now we don't. Sorry, error, error what? You're the first person to ask me that of all the stream- Oh yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, is like, err, what? You know? Like a question. But now I know. So thank you. Hello? Okay. Nobody's doing anything. I know, I don't. <sighs> all right, let's go save some children. I like all of the random places to talk to people on the ship, but Shepard's Cabin is my most favorite because it's so... I don't know. Fancy. Any beepers? I forgot we have to like scan things. Because this will give us like war assets or something. But it will also signal the, signal the Reapers. Okay, so I got some fuel, but now the Reapers are coming. Like... Ha! No! Reapers eluded. There's fucking Reapers! Like, I don't know how this is supposed to work. Wow. Hello? Goodbye. Okay, that's enough, uh, that's enough scanning. I don't know how, how to figure out that I've found, like... Oh, okay, maybe I only have, have located 20% of things, but there's still Reapers there? Hmm. Rescue the students. Yep, that's where we're going. And I know why we're going here first. I shan't be saying. Hello? Is there anything here? I guess maybe not. Okay, well. Let's go do this thing. All right, Grissom Academy. Um, uh, serve a student population demonstrating excellence and passion for math, science, and the liberal arts. It's entirely human student body ranges um, in age from the early teens to the mid twenties. Although the fact is not heavily, heavily advertised, the institution also offers classes for students with biotic capability. The school's Ascension project project seeks to track these students and integrate them into normal society. Let's go. So basically we're, we're, uh, you know. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Ooh, we can take Edie now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello? Oh no. Why did, okay. Can, can I, can I say this? What, um, the, the, I'm trying to say this in the, in the most TOS friendly way. Um, the previous outfit prior to this, um, and a couple of these outfits, it would seem. There seems to be a, f a fold in the fabric of the crotch, and I think someone would have noticed that. I don't- I don't think they noticed that. 
Um, yep, okay. Yeah. Oh, Garrus! Oh my goodness, that's intense. I think I kind of just like standard Garrus of, of all the Garrus choices. I like <laughs> leather on metal Edie. I think that works. Um, I like uh, Cyber Witch Liara. 100%. Javik, what do you have? You have two options, and frankly, the dark one's better. They do all kind of look cool like that. Listen, okay, I want to take... Liara, and I'm going to take Javik because I think he'll be just fun to have around. Wait, no, I'm going to... I'm going to take Edie for reasons. I'm going to take Edie for reasons. Not not perverted reasons. Um for story reasons that I'm not going to talk about right now. That some of you may know if you've played this game before and yeah. Do you have any other guns for you, my dear? No. That's it. Okay. What do we have working for you, ma'am? Okay. Well, that's fine. Alrighty. But I do feel like with Edie, I have to specify, I'm not bringing her for, like, <laughs> those kind of reasons. I'm bringing, I'm bringing her for story reasons. Um, I definitely would like some more fitness, please and thank you. I we we will be working on our fitness today. Ooh. Let's go. For Joker. <laughs> okay, power damage, health and shield, weapon, tag. Squad Ooh. Is shield recharge delay for squad? No, I think that's just for her. Well, decoy, that's kind of fun. Defense matrix. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll let you figure out what you want to do with that, Edie. Incinerate will take 100%. <laughs> we know, but always good to clarify. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I figure you know. Um, Powers, I think. Powers. We'll go like a powers. Oh, can't upgrade that. Oh, well. I can always respect people, I think, too. Rowan, good evening. Hi. Good to see you. I know I'm not on camera, but hi. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Singularity, I think. It's just the best. Ooh. Yes. Always love damage over time. But recharge speed. Well, it's not that much of a reduction, so. How about damage over time, please and thank you? We're all good. We're all good. All right. And there's the folks who answered the distress call Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place back. Oh, I forgot that my armor is like blood red. I'm receiving incoming transmission. Oh, I'm gonna eat some pineapple, Let's by hear. the way. <laughs> SSV Normandy, this is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right, we'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh boy, can I?
loud video game. That was loud. What is Joker's last name, though? Keep the shuttle in position. <laughs> we'll be back. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> green. Well, that's Seth Green, though. Commander, I'm locked in the server room around the corner. Cerberus troops are trying to get in. Sir. Hello? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. I shot everyone in the head for you. You can come out now. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. <laughs> and with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, oh God, it's been 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. I was there the day the he Westfield was fell. The Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. Yeah, fewer than 20. It's a very, like, weird, non-specific number. Knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Y you should be Agreed. able to say, like, oh, the there, are, there are ten of us. Get, and our students are unique resources. <clears throat> they wanted to help. I shoot your eye out. No with the entire galaxy falling apart. Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frober. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Also, if your students are biotic teenagers, they can probably fucking fight a little bit. Like, a little bit. I'm not- I'm not saying we make the children fight the trained military soldiers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that they the can defend themselves. We'll be okay. Okay, maybe that one cannot defend himself. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, Sh Shepard, come on, the door, please. Ma'am. Wait, wait, Edie! <laughs> so what's over here? Does this lead to the same room? Yeah. Wait. No. No. Really? All right. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Okay. Well, Edie. Um. Okay, but. Oh, this way, probably. See, Shepard's not gonna make the the children fight the soldiers. She told him to play dead, which is actually very smart. That's an incredibly smart bit of advice. Alright. 
watch the headshots. <gasps> they killed a map prodigy and said it was no loss. Oh my god. Also, hold up. Is this mine? Okay, yeah, these are my powers. It's been a second. My ammo wasn't even on. Oh, you fuckers! <laughs> I'm sorry! No, 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 no. There we go. Why are my squad mates, like, not using their powers? Oh, because Liara's down. That's why nothing's happening. Because she's dead. My girlfriend. There you are. There, she's fine now. Wakey, wakey. Um, okay, singularity, warp. Uh, I'll just leave like all of their, all their powers up, it's fine. Thank you for the clip. Oh, oh, hello. A gun? Uh, that looks heavy. I'm going to leave that. I mean, like, I'll take it, but you know what I mean. Oh, Sean, you're fine. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Okay, she's fine. Oh! There are just goodies left and right here. Oh, class 421. Uh, you can stop blazing it now, I guess. Well, I'm- I'm- I'm going as fast as I can loot. I- <laughs> And then I have to combat roll into doors, so... Eat this. There she is. Jack? Shepard? Liara to go die, I think. There we go. Okay, Edie's down. Okay, let's get... There we go. Wait, I can hack this now? Hold the phone. Can I? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think I can hack it. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Gonna die now? Yeah? 
Where are the other ones? Oh, just gonna throw that out there randomly. There we go. Okay, the students. Okay, we're all good. Yay! That was quick. I had no idea the Queen of the Girl Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Frankly, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Wait, is Jack? Is her hair like gray? I don't think it was gray in the original run of Mass Effect 3. It was like just brown. Damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. Jack's personality appears largely unchanged. <laughs> Thank you, hey, Eve. Nice body. Now you look like a sex bot instead of a sex toy. Damn. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Aw. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Jack well, and her kids. I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And right. apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. Here. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Wait, say hi to the people. Back. How long have we got? Say hi. Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past yeah. them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, man. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. That's him. That's him making noise. You purring, baby? You happy? Okay, thank you. Oh, so I actually have a Dwight story. <laughs> Real quick. I'm gonna pause because I don't know if there's actually a, a time limit. I doubt there is. Um, <laughs> so I was, um, I need, to, like, the first time I wake up for the day, I say that in case, like, I nap, I guess, but that is when Dwight is at his most affectionate. Um, aside from, I guess, right now, where he's being, like, very, very affectionate. Do not bite me. No. No, that's no, no biting. Okay. Thank you. Um, but so that's when he's at his most affectionate and his most chatty. And so this morning we were having a little conversation and I would go, Ack, and he would go, Ack, and, and I would go, Mah, and he would go, Mah. and, and so I, um, I was texting my friend cause I was like, Hey, uh, you know, or, or we're going on a hike today. Right. And he's like, yeah, we're going on a hike. And, um, and I was like, okay, cool. Well, um, also just so you know, I've been having a conversation, uh, all day with Dwight and every time I says, ack, he says, ack. And, um, and then my friend said, okay, say ack to Dwight for me. And I said, okay, hey, Dwight, Joe says, ack. And then Dwight said, mm, yeah. So, <laughs> so he was just like, yes. I thought that was very cute. Um, cause he loves his buddy, Joe. Joe's his favorite buddy, isn't that right, buddy? Uh, he he pushed his nose into my nose, so I think that means yes. Okay, kitty, I'm gonna play Mass Effect now. Are you gonna sit still for me? Being a wiggle worm right now. Come on, bud. The legendary edition lighting makes her hair a different color, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Yeah, I just I I don't remember it looking like that. Hi, buddy. Oh, yes, you're a big buddy. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships. Oh, George is having a nap. Oh, yay. Cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. I need some more freaking Metagel. Sorry. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. If both of we'll you be here, ready when you need us, Commander. Maybe we've so got a chance. You work with Commander Shepard? That's pretty badass. Aww. Yeah. Wonder why she never mentioned it. Before. Sweet George. Wait, where are we going? Find Cerberus laptop. Hey, let 
me know when we've got a new way off this station. How about we chat first? How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes... It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Oh. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my Aww, students, I... I will tear them apart. Yeah. Oh, hey, Pete Twin. Thank you for the four months and three months streak. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to your Saturday. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you back here. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip them to shreds. Oh my god, Dwight's giving me a hug. Oh. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see Jack doing well in three. Like, it's... Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Good. That's really something. Wait. Okay, so there, the laptop's in this room somewhere then, right? I'm guessing. Because I can't leave. Ooh. Medkit, thank you. I, because when that whole story about this laptop that we're supposed to find was happening, um, I was uh, paying attention to Dwight, so I actually did not hear what was happening. So I guess we'll just keep running around. You look like a laptop, don't you? Okay, um, capture priority alpha, bring back alive at all costs. Oh, a student ID, uh, vital retrieval subject due to high level biotic abilities paired with high leadership testing, testing scores, considered prime candidate for indoctrination and high level enhancements for subsequent long-term infiltration relocation. Yikes. Sanders, you should have access All now. right, cameras are off. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Okay. <sighs> So what I am hearing is Dwight stole the laptop. He stole its heart. You hear Cerberus saying people's names? Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. Hi, Dwight. Hey. Let me know when we've got a new one. Good. Holy <laughs> small boy. Everyone, be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. <laughs> A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right, I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... What if they're not lying? Why were your Omni tools not on privacy mode already? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. 
So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go! Okay, Dwight, enough kisses for right now. I gotta save some more children. Alright, don't notice me. Okay. They've noticed me. I immediately have no shields. Like working on taking out the big boy, huh? And I mean this one too. Oh, hello, you. I mean, uh, Edie, please. Thank you. Oops. What about you? I'm gonna see what I can do with just me and Liara. Or sorry, me and Edie. Mail slot guy. I was like, I know there's one. Oh, I guess the Atlas is still just hanging out. Oh, I am out of ammo. That's why. I guess we'll bring uh, Liara back now, huh? Get some extra firepower. cannon type, huh? That'll do. Alright, sir. Oh, wow. He kind of exploded, huh? Few of these dudes. Oh, that thing's gonna be a problem. Not who I was hoping to hit. Where is he? Oh no, that's that's ED. <laughs> So many dudes. Wait. 
Okay, I was like, what what is this? Suspicious meat cake? Thank you for the follow. Okay, that's a fun name. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. Ooh. Nice one, Franklin. Alright, so we got some more dudes. No, no turrets. That's cheating. No, you can't have one either. Sir, damn it. Okay, that should be my nod theory, right? his whole head was there, and I just kind of said, mm, but what if I didn't? There we go. That'll do. Hey, would y'all mind staying down? nothing. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I, I can sit up now that uh, Dwight has decided that he, he's done sitting with me, so now I can actually... Uh, oh, goodbye! Oh, wow! Really just yeeting that man, huh? Don't just... just Okay, thank you. Just get the turret. There we go. Everyone okay up there? Good job. Thank you. Wait. Is this where we came from? Yes. Correct. George left too. It was time to eat and he was done with chilling. That's fair, you know. It's time for uh, Dwight to take a bath, apparently. That's uh, next on his agenda of very big and important things today. Oh yeah, I forget that we have grenades in this game. I don't use them. That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our file says you've been working on a shield technology. Which one? Sir. It's not gonna end well for you. Oh, we're fine. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 oh. equals... David Archer! 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. Oh my god! David, you know her? Yes. I forgot! She rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. She made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. Wow. The students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. It's okay. his theme, even. That's uh, oh, that's really nice. Thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you, the Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. No. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Oh. That was nice. Thank you, game. 
as we combat roll into the door. <laughs> oh, sniper rifle mod. Thank you, David. Wow. And a giant honking weapon that I am not going to use, but hey, listen. Yeah, that was really lovely. Oh, come I don't like I don't like that mechanic, frankly. <laughs> That's gonna be happening a lot. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Let me just hop over this burning couch real quick. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh oh. Ah, don't mind if I do. Hi, Omni. Be nice and it'll come back to you. Exactly. Oh, hi. Wait, wait. What? Why is she? What? She's moonwalking. Okay, she 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 was. She was gliding there for a second. Her legs were not moving. <laughs> oh, Big bada boom. Wait. Can I, can I blow this up? Oh god, I can! I don't even know who that was, but I did choose to, to uh, deface a statue for just a little bit of chaos. Okay. Oh, that's Edie. Ooh, shit. Ass is watching. Sir. Oh, where? There. So anyway, started blasting. Hostiles up top. Uh oh. Come on, poke your little head out. I promise I won't shoot you. Oh, okay, you can just shoot him through there, and I think that works. <laughs> sure. Combat engineers. Oh, hello. Wait. Batty? Oh, okay, not anymore. On the right side? I swore I saw somebody. Oh, no, left? Nobody on this side? Yes? No? I hear them. I don't see them. I see uh, Edie having a moment. Oh, that's her, like, um, that's her fake one. That's interesting. Oh. Hello. Are you the last of the idiots? No? Oh! There's another one. Oh, nice. That was easy. I mean, I guess when you have a gigantic uh, mech thing, kinda does make everything easier. Caleb, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Rodriguez is always causing so much trouble. Oh no. She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Hope you didn't blast her in the face with the glass there, Jack.
Joker. We flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. All right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <laughs> <coughs> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Uh, they should still be support because they are children. Um, also, Geek Droid, I love that. I can think, think of so many things where a Big Mac would just be a hindrance, like trying to sharpen a pencil or make a grilled ready. cheese. The Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't can be need artillery, artillery support. Unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. <laughs> More pineapple for me. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Mm. Screw you, f flight lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need uh. from our teachers. <laughs> Especially a swear jar or something? I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. And I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report. Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Yeah, Jack is fantastic in three. She's she's come a long way. She's done like a lot of healing, and it's really nice to see. Alright, now we can talk to everybody on the ship. Oh, wait. Okay, great. Um How come Kaylee Sanders gives us more war assets than Jack? Um, oh, is it because I have David Archer? Maybe, maybe he gives me, like, extra points, um, under her, specifically. Also, I mean, Jack is, like, unorthodox. That, that is a very fair point. Um, isn't, Sh uh, Shepard still a specter? Yeah. Yes, Commander. I don't know. Um, I th our things. The casualty reports. The Reapers are using our own. I think we've talked support. to him before. The strategist in me admires my civilization. That's all. Of course, Commander. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have anything else to say to him because I, th I think we've talked to him. More experience than Jack? Yeah, mm, yeah. I don't know. That that's probably fair. Yeah. I just think I my brain's just like oh but Jack is strong oh powerful you know so I think that's where I'm coming from 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 that Jack strong Jack go smash yeah <laughs> you know that kind of situation so I joke Jack's her. an instructor I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling ooh and that was Cerberus attacking the academy and that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. 
It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. I mean, fair. Yeah. <laughs> Commander? It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have been using memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. Ha ha! Hello, Shepard. That's a penis joke. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Or thank you from Hackett. Oh, the standards. Okay. Um, I didn't have time to thank you properly. Doing what I can to help with the Crucible, an amazing project. More advanced. Uh, tech mining kids are working too. It's the future. Oh, cute. And Miranda wants to be the meter on the Citadel. I was already on my way there. I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel by Bay D24. Miranda. <laughs> oh, my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nothing in my cabin, right? Like, again, there's just no reason for me to be up here until I get fish. <gasps> hey! Good to see you. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving, too. Hope you're well. I never remember what's on- I guess there is a map that I could be looking at that will tell me where things are. But I guess it's basically just uh, Liara and Garrus to talk to here for now, huh? Oh, no, I know. Listen, Yvonne Strahovski is, there is new gorgeous. Private messages terminal. I, I also, yeah. She, yeah. I, I've been um, following her career since Chuck. I think she's great. Um, okay, I... Oh, there are no rewards then there, huh? Okay. Broker terminal, though. A call from Kaylee to Jack. Uh, hey, Sanders, checking on the kids. How are they, Jack? They'll do good. This is going to be long. I kind of got crap to do. Sanders, I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing aggressive. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. Like, um, look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. Okay, and Kaylee to David Anderson. Hi, Saber. <laughs> no, I know, it's true. It's true, she's- she's- she's very, very beautiful. Um, David, you won't get this for a while unless you get an extra connection. Um, made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete. It's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Somebody likes Anderson. Hi, Liara. What's up? It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Why? Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were oh. very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Anything else? Hello again. Hi. Hello again. Okay. <laughs> Garrus! What's new? One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. I did finish this season of What We Do in the Shadows. It, <laughs> oh my goodness, um, yeah, because the the penultimate episode of the season, I was just like, no, there, there's no way they could have done that thing. And then at the 
the end of the season finale, I went, oh my, they did some things. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I figure I, uh, I wanted to help won't say stars, any spoilers, but... but... I think he actually likes them. Yeah, cannot unsee a lot of that. Uh, that, that was all very Did disgusting. Okay, <laughs> the dialogue does really cut to the chase in three. I, you know, I feel like there's a lot to do. Um, oh yeah, we have people to see in here, probably. Somewhere. Um, Adams. Uh, Adams, Javik, uh, Allers. Okay, sure. We'll- we'll just go check all these areas. Hello? Wait. Isn't this where he's supposed to be? Oh, no. No, this is just a room full of, um, stuff at the moment, it would seem. I'll go this way, then. Ugh, oh, there's that freaky dog. Breaking now. City of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. Damn. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Which cities are next? Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. No, that would, no. Do we need to talk, Commander? No. Not right now. Alan. Let me know when we do. Okay, goodbye. Commander. Okay, nothing from from you. Is Javik downstairs then? Why is he hiding from me? I have questions. Hello, I have to talk to you. I have a compulsion. <laughs> Commander. I was exploring your ship. Yes, you were. Find anything interesting? Hi, Brick. One of your crew lived in this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. Hmm. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Okay. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Oh, oh okay. Commander. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, words of wisdom there, buddy. I'll, uh, I'll just be on my way then. a recording from Ferris Fields months ago I lost a lot of friends that day I lost my husband I grieved said goodbye made my peace you were talking with him when the collector said I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. 
Oh my god, could you imagine saying we're all alone right now? Jesus. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. Aw, Steve. It's just the downtime between missions. It's hard, you know? I know. Aw, oh, buddy. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like this. Steve, don't I feel bad about things. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Steve, Steve needs to go to therapy. Ooh. Yeah. All right, let's definitely. Oh wait, that's right. I'm saving my credits. Because I'm trying to get the uh, the Black Widow, so I'm not upgrading any of those guns. Um, I will, though, do this. Stun and barrel. We got something else, though. This? Yes! This is good. This is good. Okay. And then I actually, I, I kind of like this, too. I, th I think this is good. Yeah. Hey, Dad! Oh, wait, now I can talk Stay. to the dog. Welcome in. Good to see ya. We've just been running around, uh, I did a Mass Effect mission. SOB. But kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. I am, uh, I'm doing a little no-cam early afternoon kind of thingy, my bobber, uh, cause I am going on a hike with my friend Joe here in a little bit, uh, so he and I are gonna go get some time in the great outdoors. It's a pretty nice day, uh, in Los Angeles today. So, yeah, we're gonna go walk and be active and out of doors. <laughs> But I figured there was no point in uh, putting on makeup or washing my hair uh, before I went and literally walked on the side of a mountain, you know? <laughs> I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. 68 and we sunny? Have known nice. Him if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. All right, Grissom Academy is safe. I think we should go to the uh, Citadel. <laughs> It'd attract bugs, but you'd look great doing it. Yeah, you know, it's true, but... Actually, here, hold on. How do we... Oh, go water the cat, for sure. <laughs> I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Um... Critic second... Okay, so... Yeah, there's stuff to do on the Citadel. The lab, Sir Cash. I think I'm gonna save those. Yeah, it looks like a lot to do with the Cit Citadel, so definitely. Did trainer action actually take a compliment? Character growth? Aw. Don't want to dress up for the mountain? No. I don't need to impress a mountain today. Maybe some other time. Whole lot of stuff to do here. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? How would one impress a mountain? Get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. All right, let's go see if Caden's put his shirt back on now. Stock of modified metagel is low, but no, you, you don't understand. This isn't for 
Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Well, I'm glad we stood around. We got the quest. Oh, Thane! Thane! Hi! Hi! Good to see you. Commander Shepard. Hi! When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Dad. Yeah. We have you... spoken. He seems an honorable you sort. You impress mountains Your by piquing their curiosity. I will look out for him. Aw, Thane. Appreciate it, Thane. That, that was really good. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Kepril Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. That's a lot of points. Wait, Dwight. Dwight? Hey, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here, Stinky. Come here, Stinky. He's being a stinker. Where are you going? What is this attitude you have right now? What's this about? Anyway. 516 points. That's a lot of points. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. Mm -hmm. It is not your time, but it is mine. No, Dad, it's not you. How much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. <laughs> Do Wait, did I already ask? I did ask that one. Yeah, so. okay. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fear. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Oh. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. So sweet. Oh, tragic. Hello, Commander Shepard. The humans God, she's terrifying. Please ensure that you observe. Properly. Thank you. Please. I'm just gonna leave Avina alone. She doesn't have anything for me. It's she... completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half, and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building. We know Dick. What is this? The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta. Um... President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda uh, to change. I'm gonna go with the VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Serta. 
Ooh. Hello. All profits from sales go to help new huh. medical research. Some Peruvian whiskey that will uh, support medical research. Um, Thank you for coming to Serta. Please recycle. Uh, I'm gonna buy that because I have a feeling that um, I have a feeling that uh, a certain somebody aboard our our certain ship is gonna really out is gonna really like that. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? I'm getting a card, Balfour. You should go to sleep. You should definitely go to sleep. Good luck on your space adventures. I'm gonna go snuggle under a duvet. Nice. Enjoy your snuggle, Ruin. Oh. I... Accidentally tabbed out of the game there. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so Balfour for you. A card I'm not sure we've really seen a lot. Um... At least not in, in here. Is a non organization okay, I... The shh. Life. There. Now they'll hush. Balfour, your card is death. And Brick, your card is the Six of Pentacles. So death symbolizes uh, the end of a cycle, beginnings, change, and metamorphosis. Death is feared by many for it indicates endings. It is a moment of transition between one world and the next. What is forgotten, though, is that as much as death destroys, it also creates. It is representative of the cycles in life, when something uh, must die in order to be reborn anew. Thus, it is a symbol of both endings and beginnings. I think that means sleep. <laughs> I think that's what that means. Uh, and then the Six of Pentacles is uh, charity, generosity, and sharing. Um, so there are two sides, of course, um, in the picture of this card. There's a hand giving coins and a hand receiving coins. Uh, you have to think about where you are uh, in this picture. If you're receiving help, uh, something dire has made you swallow your pride and realize help from others is not shameful. Uh, in reaching out for help, we recognize all giving and taking relationships are a two-way street. Find peace that the giver also receives the joy of giving. And if you're giving charity, perhaps you see something of uh, someone else's situation in your own past suf suffering, and to help them is to help an echo of yourself. Relieving pain is its own reward. Though the givers and receivers are separated, they can be very much the same. There you go. Here, real quick. I'm going to pause, because I... Listen, I have some lemon meringue pie in my fridge and I desperately want some. So I will be right back. Okie dokie. Small slice acquired. Now let's see. Uh, we have some trauma stories to listen to, and then we have Caden. We were hungry. 
filthy. They, they'd turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They'd cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And Neyro was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I, I got within ten meters of her. I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints, and that's when they all started screaming. Okay. Well, moving right along then. Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? No. <laughs> How is Caden doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. Hmm. Is he wearing a Are shirt? Your medical mm -hmm. supplies no. holding up? We're well stocked now. We've posted guards on our reserves. War prop. Keep up the good work. You too, command. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of power. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have. Uh -huh. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. I love how this woman's just like taking this phone call next to this like groaning man who does not have a room. Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore. Base. Athena! No, they were very easy to scale. Ooh. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. Athena's great. Hello? Okay. Hello? No? Okay. All right, Caden, where's your shirt? Like oh god damn it. The galaxy no. has need of exceptional soldiers like you now more than ever. You'll have it soon, counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. Like I know I know they said his shoulders time. busted. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. He can still have a shirt no though. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I'm pretty sure Ashley has a shirt on in the I hospital. If Ashley's alive. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a Wait, little pick me up. That's for Caden? Right no! We can crack it open no. and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. No! I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. That's for Chakwas, you Doctor. asshole! Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. Well, I guess at least Ash has something on, you know. Um, I'm gonna, I, I, why, why did you ask me to come? You asked I'm here. Good to see you're okay. Thanks. Is that really the only reason you wanted me to come by? After Mars and after doubting you. I just wanted to make Talk sure that does we're like okay. Randy, you're right. Clear the air. Caden, we've been through rough missions together. Had each other's backs. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. <laughs> well... We did. So what do you say? Are we good? Uh, sure, man. Whatever. We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Major. This war needs you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. 
Okay, Caden, goodbye now. Just leave your nipples to air out in peace. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Do, are you gonna give me a quest? I know the is there we go. Here isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. What? What's this person? What is this room supposed to be? And there's just a patient back. In What's going on? You're not. What? You have extensive nerve damage. Once we remove the leg. Weird hospital. This place does have inter interesting standards. Like, I also feel like, you know, I'm sure that there's something kind of like HIPAA, you know, some kind of medical privacy. Um, they're violating it left and right. Please select the destination. One moment, please. It does indicate patient overflow. You are right. Now arriving at docking bay D And like selective standards of care and stuff like that. Listen, I get it. You know, it's, it's war times and it's overflowing, but I, I just want to... <laughs> I just want to razz on this on this hospital for a second. Oh, keeper! Uh, yes. Ah, still running around in the Commander suit. Shepard. I see. It's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet, for now. What's the Alliance's next move? Oh god, pressure is on for quote number 100, so huh? <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? <laughs> I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? Well, then there you I go. Don't know. Everything I had in place. The pressure is sure officially off. Her quote number one hundred. <laughs> what do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now. I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. Hi, Sarah. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. 
but I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I like how we got three quotes just talking about quote number 100. Yeah. That makes sense. You know, like, I don't, I, I, I don't know to quite it. how to explain and it. I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. It was so important. We really had to make sure we covered all the bases. Get some sleep, Balfour. I'm sure you'll feel better after some rest. Alright. Are we gonna get six quotes for 666? Hmm. That's a good question. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the deputy. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. Oh yeah, I think this is like a new area. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait. Please, my family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out hmm. of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let well, them anyway, land. Here. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer. And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them somewhere. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Yeah, really, though, it is a- and that was a very quick backpedal. Oh yeah, the wall of all the missing- missing people. That's so sad. Yeah, Mass Effect 3. Not exactly a, um, happy feel-good game. <laughs> uh, in case, uh, you all were not, uh, up to speed on that one. Excuse me, what was your name? Christophe Vasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in there. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, Shepard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. I know there's like stuff to do back here. We have faced adversity. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. Oh, hey. They're yours, waiting in Bay D24. Thank you. Great. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Ooh, we got some credits. Nice. Oh. Ooh, a harpoon gun. Stand strong. Oh, no. With Batarian state arms. Um, uh, terminus armor. Ooh. Spicy. And Omniblade, I think, I think we're okay for now. Anything else back here? No, just some Batarians hanging out, okay. Hi guys, bye guys. Right. Got some more people in, uh, some more... hospital -y situations, potentially. This crate is just devoid of anything. See, there's totally still room to take that human refugee and his family in. There's a whole empty crate back there in the hospital. Oh my goodness. Okay, where... I think there's more stuff back here, for sure. And I think more stuff keeps happening, like, Let's as the game the goes. Supplies. Oh, hi, Garrus. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. 
How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You have a copy of a Shepherd VI. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? On that war we hero. After some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. All right. We just got a report that another ship made it off Palamon. How many on board? Thirty or forty survivors. That's all. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Well, let's find some. Extranet says you're Alliance military. This is going to be home. Take care of yourself out there, officer. Oh boy. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with an SSV Normandy flight sim. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. <laughs> Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? <laughs> don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that. Do I? <laughs> Extranet says you're Alliance military. Oh, wow. Take care of yourself out there, officer. Glorious. Good job, game. Jennifer Hale got to go in on a Saturday, probably in her pajamas, probably on a Saturday, I'm assuming, and record all that, and I, I think that that's just dandy. <laughs> Wait, can I go in there? I want to go in there. What's in there? What's in there? I want to go in there. Hey. 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 Can I hop your counter? Let me in. Let me in. Uh. What's over there? Shepherd. One moment. I can combat roll any other time. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. The secret way in is if this were a freaking Bioware or not Bioware game, if this were a freaking um <laughs> Skyrim game, sorry, I got my vowels transposed there. Uh you know, just press the tilde, type uh TCL, and then hop on through there, but I can't, so I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bala. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I'll find him. Probably. Or, or something, maybe. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. Well, that's I a shame. Your eyes are beautiful. Information. If Bala's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. 
I like that he matched his whole look to his freaking lavender eyes. Gorgeous. Tell me you have found my son. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Thank you for looking. Hello? No? Okay. Okay, so she's... I don't think there's still anything to do here. I've, I've like, waded through this whole loop before. And I don't think we've gotten this quest. I'll wait again for another second, just in case something, like, triggers. She looks remarkably like you do. She's so very happy. Ma'am, is it just Thank because you. she's blue? That's wonderful, ma'am. Okay, well, moving on. Can I can I find this gun now? Wee. Oh, this isn't a, no. This is just Bailey. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepherd? That bad, huh? Things Ooh. here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about. My neck is a wreck. Rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. And I don't think any of It'll that. Get worse. Yeah, anyway. if it ever gets better. Okay, there we go. Thank you, thank you for the foster check. That was part of what that that neck pop was. Commander Shepard, John Dumba, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. What? That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Not the Evidence jellies. Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. Oh. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting wow. a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Salarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. <laughs> Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. I love this Hanar spy story that's happening here. So, remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. <laughs> if you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Oh, I don't like the, like, weird little eyeballs. Like, how they mapped her eyeballs there for a second. It was terrifying. It was like a weird, like, ceramic doll or something. Can our embassy tracking, uh, Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records, and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar embassy. To avoid triggering in surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Now point of consoles or access points with the relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omni tool. Okay. Citadel Entry Authorization. Instructors at Grith Grissom Academy have requested facilities on the Citadel to train young students who escaped the attack on the school, but who are not yet ready to join the older students in combat. Yeah, of course. 
Um, Engineers Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Specter authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reestate them on board. Yeah, welcome back. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the, f oh, oh. the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> okay, can I buy this now? Hey, hey. No, I'm short. Damn it. Okay. I can't believe I spent a thousand credits on a bottle of booze that ended up being for freaking Caden because I thought that I had enough money for the gun. We do like one more mission and, and I'll have enough, but. Damn it. Hi, you, Dina. Anything new? Shepard? No. Did have we already know? talked? Many. I must know. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden. I'll be here. Oh, that's right. So we've already had this conversation that humanizes Udina like a little bit, but he's still, he's still kind of a dick. Um, okay. Nothing else up here. We have to investigate the Hanar. Hmm. No? Okay. Um, we've done those. We haven't been to the commons, and then we can always go to the bar, because the bar's new. So that's fun. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Oh. Things weren't great even Hello. before he deployed. And if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Ooh. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Yeah, no, no, no. We could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human I, I don't even need to finish out to, to say that they should not be going into combat. <laughs> Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Yup. There we go. Save some lives. Overcharging for goods. Denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost in our home world, and now our people have lost their way. Hmm. Wait a minute. Selling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. I know, Yale. Into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Ooh, ultralight pistol materials. Coming to the Citadel. Any open goods? Oh! Oh, but. Look me up. Business will um. be here for some time. But that's so much. If it exists, we carry it. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. Thank you. Come again. Don't count on the Batarians. Okay. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Ooh, koi fish. Um, ooh. Concentration mod. Whoa. Look at that. Uh, 
Look how shitty the, the fish look. <laughs> they look so shitty. Like, look how good the the detailing is here. And like, even here. And then the koi fish. <laughs> like, the fins are so jagged, and the textures are so low. <laughs> <laughs> That's not worth the thousand credits I'm gonna spend on them when I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I'll have to come back and buy some of this stuff after I get the Black Widow. <laughs> fish? I know we do have the fish though. Clearly they, they spent most of their 3D modeling budget on the armor and not the fish, yeah. Yeah, I know. And I mean look, like, like look at all these cool ads. Wow! But also, <laughs> that fish is just so fucking sad. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Fine, but I'm not selling financial VI. Well, fears of fighting continues as the paper is occupied. Thinking of going? The sanctuary. I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuaries are scale. What? Oh, Somebody's making money off people's hmm. Wow. Okay, so wait. So there's space up and down here. There's apartments back this way, I guess? I'll go this way because it looks like there's a lot more down here. So we'll just see if anybody will let me bust into their home. No, you're gonna stand outside of somebody's home, though, like a weirdo. <laughs> Yay, weirdo! Wait, what? What's this? Hold on. Wait, I had a... Oh! Oh! What is this? <laughs> it's a Hanar named Blasto? Yeah, Liara and Edie are here. We'll go see them. That's amazing. The Vorcha have diplomatic immunity. Nice. The first hand specter. But I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. That's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about. We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. Interesting. All right, let's go over here. See what everybody's up to. Hello, nothing. Okay, great. Love that. Still nothing. Also great. Liara, howdy. Let's chat. Still working. One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. I've never seen lethal weapon. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Izo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Bar Levon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Hi, Mid Shadow. 
You started with Mass Effect 3 before you got the other two? This is a real interesting place to start. I bet it was fun to go back and, like, get the full context of everything else. Hello, Shepard. Wait, uh that? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. <laughs> Wait, Shepard is just literally running around giving unsolicited advice to every bickering couple on the entire Citadel. <laughs> every last one. She's just like, hey, I I know exactly how to, to set your life in order. And here's what you're going to do. And then they just listen because it's Shepard. Hello, Shepard. It's incredible. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Oh. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. Oh. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. <laughs> I lack material wants other than hardware and software updates. <laughs> and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. Oh, Eddie, that's... <laughs> not how to think of it. It's gotta be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject in my desired emotional state. No. No, Consent, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Oh boy. <laughs> Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, <laughs> wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Literally teaching a robot how to love. This is great. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. <laughs> I if this is how the Krogan feel. <laughs> Welcome to Fantastic. Good job, video game. Do you have any uh, sickly looking fish for me here? No? For the best in the business, come to Classification Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. Oh, I bet you do, though. Oh. Rates. No? Oh, cute. Shoot smart. Shoot. No Sastra. Pistol cranial trauma system one. Increase headshot damage. Thank you for shopping at your fast terminal systems. Oh. Hey, Commander. Hi, Joker. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. Yeah, it's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen, once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm yeah. legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Wow. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. And he, you know, and he, he loves watching her leave, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I 
I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. Okay. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model or store credits or most of the time. I just want my money out. There's uh -huh. nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book for my car. Uh -huh. I'm afraid I can't help you. Uh, I don't. I don't know that. I don't know that I matter. Are you keeping uh, this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family. There we go. I feel better about that then. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe. That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah. Sorry. I'll just. Uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Sir, okay, sir. Yeah, I made the right choice. <laughs> Ooh, venom shotgun. Ooh, Ooh ultralight sniper. Ooh. There is a lot of stuff, and I am saving all of my money for one gun that shoots like one bullet, lol. Yeah, for a toaster oven. Sir, there is a war on? Sir? <laughs> like, hello? Is is this all of CSEC now? What? This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Great. Of course. I will do everything I well, can not great, happen. but like great as in we got a quest. I like just wandering around and picking up random miscellaneous quests. It's great. Makes me feel like I'm in a true, you know, cozy, homey RPG experience. <laughs> I don't even have to talk to these people. I just move past them. I love it. All right, let's go to the bar and then um, maybe do like one more questy thingy, depending. Because I think I'm probably going to be leaving in like an hour. Ooh, immediately, yeah, immediately at the VIP entrance. And I guess we're just going to go in in our hoodie today, because that's uh, th that's it. So this is Wendy's. We don't sell it here. Talk to Barlavon too. I did talk to Barlavon. Hold on. I had, though, and Barlavon didn't have anything, like, super much to say. Oh, we also have to go to Dr. Bryson's lab, right? What is that? Or is that, like, a big DLC thing that I don't want to do yet? Here, we'll, we'll, we'll go cat jam some more in a second. <laughs> Cause see, I kept I kept like going over and clicking on him, and he's just like, "Don't trust the Batarians," and I'm like, "Okay, Commander okay, now Shepard. I can talk to him." Barlavon, in case you forgot. Anyway, me. thank you. <laughs> Financial. He wouldn't advisor. let me though. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. Oh, Liara told me to. Oh, I wasn't listening. Damn it. Oops. <laughs> He used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Thanks, partner. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. You got it. Okay, now we're going back to the club. Shepard, one moment, please. Now arriving 
Okay, so this is Dr. Bryson's lab. I want to see what that is. Because maybe we do that too. Hmm. Citadel Dr. Bryson. Oh, that's DLC. No. Later. That's DLC. We'll do that another time. That is not going to be a time to start. All right. Let's wander around the club. <laughs> Hello, I've come to intrude. Oh, so hey. You and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. No. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? <laughs> I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? <laughs> Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? Yes. I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. Hell yeah. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. Okay. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. They are scum. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. I do. I want to talk now. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? I want to say hi. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, 
is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to we him. We came to say hi and catch I'll him. I'll let you be the judge. That's right. Call me if you need to. What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Gnarl will explain it. If we're going to work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? She already told you I that. I lead on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another. Chain of command <laughs> and all that crap. Take him to dinner. Talk dirty to him. Whatever works. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? <laughs> Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got seasick eyes all over me. And I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rum here. I could get you some, I bet, somehow. In other words, I'm in hell. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. Okay. Well, we'll talk later. I'm sure. I'm certain. I can always just stand here. It's always fun. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? <laughs> They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Damn. Just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them... You're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. I mean, you yeah, take some around. pride, Shepard. It'll impress him. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Oh, okay. Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. Now make sure Both you hydrate after. Because if you're too hungover to Thanks fight the Reapers, wine. that's going to be a problem. Thanks for the drink. is getting it. I think these people want their drinks. They're, they're waiting on their drinks. There's a, there's a queue. The, the beat... Okay, the beat has slowed down. You can... Well, I think that's all to do in purgatory for now. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Now where to? I know there's a few more things uh, conceivably to do on uh, the Citadel. Please select a destination. Where where is everybody? Plot twist that's not the bartender, just a random drunk. Now arriving. Janelle. Okay. Cover from Castellas and the Apian Crest. Okay. Uh Presidium Commons is where Gnarl is gonna be. So we'll go there. Or knock the bartender out by flailing. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. <laughs> Alright, we'll head up to Gnarl. I don't know, but text messages is so impersonal. Wait. Life. It deserves more than that. I could record Do you see updates? but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Okay. Hello, Gnarl. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here in a minute. Uh. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. <laughs> He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. <laughs> Quiet! Arya to look even more powerful than Crete thought. Crete. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard. Want you to know. Your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Nice. Yes! Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I scratch yours. Oh, I'd be concerned about scratching Word your back. Your spine Don't is exposed. Aria. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Aria know the light is green. Okie dokie. Hmm. Wait, I got Paragon for that? <laughs> really? That's fun. Okay. Let's see what else I can do around here for now. Blue Suns, um, in the refugee camp. Okay. Let's go down there. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment. Now arriving at Docking Bay e Hello, I'm here to uh, talk to all the mercenaries that are just hanging out here in the bay. I was on my boat when boom, the sky went black, dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. Did humans ever stop talking? What? When I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. Yeah, Shepard's running is a little bit strange, isn't it? Um... Aha! 
you. What about the food we were promised? Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. Hey! I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Okay. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. I have a feeling that passing along that message is, uh... What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. You may as well. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? Hi, Garrus. Okay, never mind. Garrus doesn't want to talk to me. I bet my VI does, though. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Blue Suns, uh, well, where... Where is Oraka? That's a great question. Um, speak to Commander Bailey in the Cell. Cit Citadel Embassy. Embassy's words. Haha, <laughs> I wonder if it has anything fun to say. Maybe. Probably not, though. It's probably still back on the same loop. Hello? There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Yep, pretty much. So we have to go see Bailey. We have to go... Hmm. That's for later. Embassies. He needs to stable his own. Mm-hmm. Search those areas, okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Let's go talk to Bailey, and then we'll also see, um, where else... Yeah. I'll do you one better. Why is Araka? Ooh. Very solid question. Maybe Araka's back there and the game just won't let me see him. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. So wait. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. There was... Hold the phone. There's... This one? Okay, yes, the embassies, yes. All right. Four, five. But what I have nothing for you. Well, I have some possible hits. Mm -hmm. Got some strange money transfers on the loan. Malone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Haloon. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Haloon's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? <laughs> you know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say yet. You were working your way around to it. Fun. 
Okay, so that's done. Still pointing me to the terminal there. For whatever reason. But maybe after we talk to uh, Bailey, it'll go away. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. You got it. Okay, nope, it just still says terminal over there. Hmm. So wait, where? I'm guessing probably back on the, uh, the what's its butt. Probably... <sighs> Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the probably in the comments then, right? There is that, like, CSEC area in the corner. Now arriving at Presidium uh, it still says Terminal. Um... <laughs> Good bug. Us, you and me. He doesn't need to know that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you've grown apart? I thought I was supposed to be honest with him. You are, but you're just being tactful, not rubbing it in. Hmm. You don't think Sanctuary is real? There we go. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris in her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, lady. You killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me oh. out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Okay, um, so that was just my alarm to remind me to, um, like, start getting ready to go on this hike. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, but let me go see, let me see who's online. Uh, see if we have anybody around a raid. Oh yeah, some folks are on, for sure. Ah, let's see here. But where would I like to go? Well, we can always return um, the the raid favor to um, to Devin. 
Uh, Devin is playing The Witcher 3, which I feel like is a good segue, frankly enough. Yeah, why don't we go on back over there? Yeah, everybody, um, I will be back on, um, Monday, I think, actually, is the plan. Um, I'm taking tomorrow off, but, um, going forward, I'm gonna have Tuesdays off, but Monday's on. So, as of right now, my stream plan is, like, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for next week. Um, maybe Sunday as well for D&D, &D if I'm able. But yeah, everybody, um, I thank you all for hanging out. Bye, Dad. Bye, Denova. Bye, um, bye, Erwet. Um, bye, Shoot Your Eye. Bye, Saber. Bye, bye, Brol. Bye, Geek Droid. <laughs> Love you, Dad. Um, and I'll talk to all of you uh, next week. Bye, friends.